So you may wonder why you need to know anything about energy, and why in particular that you need to study the photosynthetic process. And the answer is that everything in life requires energy, but energy only enters living systems one way, and that's through the photosynthetic process. Okay. So what do you already know about this particular organism? And the answer is that if you study anything about cells, you know that this is composed of cells, just like you are. And you know that every one of those cells has a cell membrane, a cytoplasm, DNA, and ribosomes. Okay? The only difference with a leaf in you is that a leaf has a little bit different organelles inside it, including the chloroplast, where the entire photosynthetic process goes on. But not all of the energy that we get from living systems come from plants through photosynthesis. Okay? Sometimes they come through bacteria, because bacteria are also capable of photosynthesizing. Okay. Just because it's a simpler cell in our minds doesn't mean that it can't do the same things that a plant cell can. And if you actually look evolutionarily, bacteria, or what came before bacteria, are probably the ancestors of our eukaryotic cells. If we think of photosynthesis as the beginning of the energy process, where energy is entering into living things, we can think of cellular respiration as the process where that trapped energy from photosynthesis is released in a cell in order for the cell to use it for another type of energy requiring process. Okay? And when you study these two pathways, what you should notice is that they look very similar. They have a lot of the same similar components to them because a lot of it is all about passing energy in the form of electrons from one molecule to the other and creating chemical bonds and then releasing that electron energy by breaking the chemical bonds apart. 